to the Mex Mundo kitchen. I hope you enjoy this recipe, I'm sure, because it is super, super simple to make. But there's one very important thing in this recipe, and it is you can't skip any steps. You really have to listen to me, okay? So whatever I tell you to do, you do it. If I'm wanting you to dance, you dance. No, just kidding, no dancing involved. But you really, you can't skip steps. I've tried it, it won't work. So just pay attention to the steps. The recipe is for madeleines, which are, um, they're called cookies. I honestly do not know why. They're more like a little cake, but they are so yummy. It's very simple. The, the ingredients are easy to get and um, you can have them super fast. It's a recipe that you'll enjoy almost immediately. It won't take you too, too long. So I hope you enjoy preparing it. The ingredients you need to make your madeleines are 115 grams of all-purpose flour. The equivalent is one cup. 115 grams of unsalted butter. The equivalent is half a cup. Uh, two eggs, these have to be room temperature, very important. 100 grams of granulated white sugar, the equivalent is half a cup. The zest of two lemons, that would be more or less, it's the, um, two teaspoons when you zest the two lemons. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, one eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of poppy seeds, and optional, so you can de um, decorate your madeleines, it's confectioner sugar for sprinkling on the top. That would be about one or two tablespoons. Are you guys ready to bake? Okay, so first we're gonna start with the butter. We have to melt it. That's, uh, it's important because you want the butter to cool down before you actually have to use it, so that's why it's good to start with this. So just in a small saucepan, put your butter. Be careful not to burn it. You can brown it if you want, that's optional. It will taste nicer, but I'm usually more of in a rush, so I just uh, melt it and that's how they turn out super yummy anyhow. Once it's uh, melted, you turn off your stove and you put the, the saucepan aside so it starts cooling. Meanwhile, while it's melting, you can, in a separate bowl, uh, put your dry ingredients to sift. So in a sifter or a colander, you can put your flour, your salt, and your baking powder and you're going to sift them in there. Uh, you can also add in there your poppy seeds and just give it a quick, a quick whisk so that they mix in and then we can continue with the next part. Okay, so the next step is just as simple as the first two things we did. You're going to use either a stand mixer or a hand mixer. If you have a stand one, it'll be much nicer because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put our eggs and our sugar in the mixer and we're going to beat them for a really long time, at least eight minutes. What we have to do is we want the texture of the eggs to turn pale yellow and to turn into a, ri a ribbon texture. How do you know that you have that texture? If you're a mixer, if, the, if it goes to the top, like you can lift it and you see the egg dripping on the globe, it, it'll look kind of like a ribbon. It's a thick ribbon. Uh, so that's the texture you're looking for. Uh, it's very important that your eggs are room temperature because you get a different out, um, result with cold eggs than room temperature eggs. So make sure you're using room temperature eggs. After the eight minutes, which it's at least eight minutes of doing that, you're going to add your lemon zest and your lemon juice and you're going to continue mixing. And then after that, we can go on with the next step. Okay, so basically we're done. The next step is kind of putting all the pieces of this recipe together. So what we're going to do is we were beating our eggs for such a long time because we want to put as much air possible into this. We want it to be really, really fluffy. So. In order for it to stay like that, we're not going to use our mixer anymore. The next step is done with a spatula. You want to fold in your dry ingredients. So please, no whisking, no mixing. You have to fold them in gently. You want to keep all that air that you put in so much time with the egg beating. So you just put in your, um, your flour mix little by little. You put a bit and you fold it. You put another bit and you fold it. You use your spatula to fold, fold, fold. Uh, until you're fully finished with the folding. Don't, don't mix, that's important. Once you're done adding these dry ingredients, you're going to add your butter the same way. You just add it little by little and you fold it in. You don't want to, uh, to over mix because you don't want to get rid of that air. That's the special thing of this recipe. You need your, your batter to be full of air. Once you're done folding uh, the batter, all the ingredients in, you're going to put it in your refrigerator for between 45 minutes to one hour. Don't put it more, uh, otherwise it'll get too compact and it won't be nice when you bake it. Uh, you, you cover it with plastic film, you can leave it in the bowl, and you just leave it in your fridge for between 45 minutes to one hour. 
Before the time is over, what you can do is you can start preheating your oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And the next step is going to be very simple. Once, once the time is over, you take it out, you put it on your counter and we'll continue. Okay, so I took, I took my dough out of the refrigerator and the oven has been preheated. So the next thing is we have to grease our madeleine mold. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it looks like, it's this, these really pretty little seashells. They're, the mold is super easy, or the pan, to get online. You can find it on Amazon, you can find it in baking shops. It's, it's a very non-complicated thing to buy. So what we're going to do is, even though this one is non-stick, I'm still going to grease it with a bit of butter. Um, once that's done, we're going to put our batter in there. So what you do is, you see it's super thick, that's what the refrigerating is for. You just grab a normal soup spoon and you get a really ha a hefty amount of the batter and you're going to put it on each of the seashells in the center. Uh, you don't need to spread the batter to make it um, lengthwise and to form the, the shell. It's just going to melt into the place while it's baking in the oven. So just put a hefty um, tablespoon of the batter in each seashell. You can use two spoons to help yourself scoop it out and uh, you put it in your oven and you're going to bake it for 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, how do you know that the madeleine is ready? After 10 minutes, open your oven and then with your finger just press it. If it doesn't sink in, that it just kind of like returns to the same shape it should have, um, you know it's ready, it'll feel firm. So once that the baking time is done, what you do is you take your tray out of the oven and you're going to transfer each madeleine into a cooling rack and then after that we can just sprinkle some confectioner sugar on them. Okay, so we are done making our madeleines. Um, let me show you guys how I decorated these. This one is just with confectioner sugar, so it's very simple. And this one I made a quick glaze with some confectioner sugar and lemon juice and I sprinkled some poppy seeds on top and then I also uh, sprinkled the confectioner sugar on the bottom. It's just to make the presentation look a bit more pretty. But I mean, this is a super easy dessert to make. It's really quick. You can make a ton in different flavors and you'll, your kitchen will be, it, it won't make a mess. It's a very, very simple, easy recipe and they are so yummy. I, I really enjoy these. Uh, I also made some in a cupcake tin, just to show you guys that if you don't want to spend on a madeleine form, you can also make them in a cup, cupcake tin. Just add the same amount you would uh, that I suggested for the shell shape, which is a hefty tablespoon, and you're still gonna enjoy you super yummy melons just in a different form. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video recipe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.